people that are being uh, run to Hey everybody, Jeremy here with another look at my CMA with Guild Wars 2. Uh, I'm currently dead and somebody was healing me, but they're in the middle of a fight as well. Uh, you guys voted for me to do World vs. World vs. World this week. Uh, among the skills and everything else you picked for me, my specific build, which is a, a Sura Mesmer here. You, uh, as far as gameplay goes, you wanted me to just jump into World vs. World. And uh, that's what I'm doing here. And WVWVW, or whatever you want to call it, is uh, insane. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's gigantic maps. You can see, well, this is just the one world, but it's gigantic. Uh, keeps, strategies, buying blueprints to build siege weapons, and on and on and on. And it runs really smooth, and as you can tell, you can see really far. And uh, it's really pretty to look at. I mean, I'm going to try and get in a battle coming up here. Here's a guy up top hiding on the rock watching. So if I wrote uh, on rock, they're sort of watching. And yeah, these guys are just playing uh, tug of war, I think. <clears throat> but it's a really pretty game, and it, I'm just grateful that it uh, runs so smooth. Because it would really, if if the servers didn't run well, it would totally destroy the, a lot of the fun. Oh, I took one, the team. Here I am in the world vs. world still, just hanging out in one of our protected garrisons. Slot skills, um, you guys voted, these are them. <laughs> These are them. Uh, arcane Thievery and... What was that? Illusion of Life and Arcane Thievery. I think tied for 5th place. So I went ahead and bought them both. But uh, I think Feedback and... I think Mirror, mirror I Image beat out Feedback by a little bit. It was the most uh, popular. Followed by Feedback. And then, of course, the others down the, down the line... What I do like to do is I love to lay down my uh, radiation field. As you can see, it's a fairly large field. It also is a combo field, so my uh, allies can pull uh, stunts and combo moves through it. And it lasts for 15 seconds, and of course you can see here it does poison, uh, weakness, uh, lowers heal effectiveness, and all that good stuff, and that can all, all of course be boosted by uh, stuff you put on armor and, and your traits and whatnot. Fast as the wind. Eat my dust. As far as armor goes, I haven't really been throwing that into the poles too much. There's just so much intricate variety that it, I would either have to make like a hundred poles per article or get extremely vague. I could get creative and and decide on what's slowly becoming um, standard build types, you know? Because there's enough guides out there now that there's enough um, experimentation going on to where people have made guides, and, you know, like they have the Shatterer guide and the, you know, and the Phantasm guide and the Glyphs guide and 
So, and they're all geared around a certain kind of play style, like long range or close up melee or avoidance or, you know, like heavy damage or healing and so on. Um, I haven't really been doing any of that. I'm level 27. Uh, I've just been taking what I can get. I've been buying a lot of the Karma armor. Um, I guess I have been going towards precision, as you can see. Precision, precision, precision. You know, I have been doing that. And, of course, you guys voted for a uh, two-handed staff for my secondary weapon. And I have been using it uh, quite a bit. Here are my two-handed staff skills. Uh, Winds of Chaos, that's, you know, that's the first one you get. You, uh, it's actually really nice. It has a ton of uh, conditions in that. Uh, balances an orb of energy between foes and allies that apply random boons. They're really quick lasting, but you can apply burning, bleeding, vulnerability, and then you can actually get Might and Fury. Uh, phase Retreat, this is the one I've been using the most next to Winds of Chaos. Uh, it's teleport away from your target so when I'm facing my target I, I literally like teleport a little bit backwards and then it pops a clone and, I, and then I can use the clone with one of my uh, you know clone attacks one of my shatters and uh, phantasma warlock summon an illusion that deals extra damage I, I do this uh, a lot too because it just adds like, more illusions. Uh, this one here, Chaos Armor, give yourself armor, which gives yourself random boons and your foe random conditions. Uh, that's nice as well. Um, it has a lot of stuff on it. I don't feel like saying anything specific about it. Chaos Storm, create a magical storm at the target location, applies random conditions. All of these, honestly, I've been... I have to admit, I've been leaning towards my two-handed greatsword skills. I don't know quite why. I just feel like they're a little bit easier. Uh, in in one way, I think I have to be a little bit more um, more conscious conscious of uh, of how I use not only of of all these skills and that I'm using them, but how I'm using them. Uh, they just seem to be very heavy on uh, the boons, so sort of like a support, you know, plus you got the illusions mixed in there. Uh, as far as utilities that I played, uh, I think I went over that briefly. I've been using feedback and radiation field the most.